Hi, and welcome to the application delivery how-to series. My name is Chris Kreiss, and I'm a solutions architect with VMware. Um, and today, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at how to configure different SSL termination types uh, within an OpenShift environment. Um, and we're going to use the AVI Kubernetes operator to uh, configure those different round types. So first of all, what round types are supported with AKO and OpenShift today? Um, well. Primarily, we have secure routes, insecure routes, and pass-through routes. And we'll just have a look at them in a little bit more detail here. Um, so the first one we're going to look at is terminate and re-encrypt uh, back into the cluster. So this is HTTPS all the way through, um, SSL everywhere. Um, and you can see very similar, very simple sort of route type. Um, from an AVI perspective, no configuration changes, um, probably what everybody knows and um, totally supported. Um, the second secure route type we have is where we are terminating on the edge. Um, so you can see that down here, termination edge and uh, termination re-encrypt over on the left. Um, and uh, with the terminate HTTPS, um, termination on the edge. What we do is we'll we'll take SSL on the front end and then we'll pass HTTP to the back end. Another critical thing to note here is the insecure edge termination policy. We do honor that as well. Um, so you could have allow, redirect, or none. Um, and so in this instance, I have allow, but you could have redirect. You could redirect your HTTP to HTTPS, etc. Um, that is fully supported as well. The other route types that we have are insecure routes, obviously. Um, so insecure routes probably don't need much explanation. Um, HTTP on the front end, HTTP to the back end. Um, and then we have pass-through routes. Um, so these are different to the uh, regular routes that we've looked at previously. Um, the other routes we've looked at are kind of operated on L7 level. This particular route, the pass-through route, operates on the L4 level. And here, um, in my example, it's just HTTP. Um, but typically, you might see HTTPS here. And uh, basically, fundamentally, what it's doing, it's just passing that HTTPS traffic from the front end to the back end, and we're not actually offloading it. Um, so quick look at the CLI just to see what those route types look like in the uh, OpenShift environment. And you can see that at the top there, you can see I have a insecure route, a pass-through route, a route where we're re-encrypting, um, but it's still a secure route. Um, and then um, just a normal secure route at the bottom there. And what we're going to look at next is what those look like on the AVI controller. Um, so here's the AVI controller. And um, to start off with, for, route types work very similar to how Ingress works um, traditionally with AKO. So you can see there, I actually have a shard um, IP address here. Um, and so I, this is a SNI virtual service. Um, and so the shard, I, the shard VS, this is the uh, parent VS. And then behind that parent VS, I have my uh, child VSs. And these are actually my secure ingresses. So at the top there, you can see the re-encrypt um, route. And uh, we'll just go into this so you can see how that looks. And um, so I've got my system secure HTTP profile on there. Um, and when we go look at the pool, you'll see that that has been re-encrypted actually to the back end. Um, and then um, I have my uh, just regular secure routes, very similar to the re-encrypt, other than I'm not actually going to be re-encrypting to the back end, but just offloading on the front end. Um, and then for my insecure, because the insecure doesn't require its own sort of parent, v its own child VS, that one actually can just sit on the um, the parent. VS. Um, so here you can see that the um, app insecure is just out on the parent VS. And I don't have a child VS for that particular instance. Then if I move over to my um, pass through, we would actually build a separate sort of shard invoice for pass through, shard VS, sorry. And you can see here that that's where it is. And because my pass through VS is actually um, HTTP as well. HTTPS, sorry, um, that has been put here. So I hope that was uh, useful. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Um, and please don't forget to catch out other videos in the application delivery how-to series. Uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.